Hey everybody and welcome back to a quick live, well not live, but life update. Um, this video is probably not going to be that long. Um, in fact, this is actually <laughs> my first day since Sunday that I've been able to like stand up for more than five minutes. So I finally got some health uh, questions answered. So you guys know how I've been fighting some health issues for like the good part of this year well on Sunday so let's backtrack so midweek last week I started feeling some sharp pains um, like in my kind of bladder kidney areas and I honestly was just like oh I've had this kind of pain before it'll go away maybe I moved the wrong way but then it, uh, from like Wednesday to Saturday, it was kind of like, it was increasing in pain, but not that much. Then I was at work on Sunday and it hit me like a fucking freight train. Like I could no longer stand up straight. Um, I was basically had the feeling, TMI guys, of like I had to pee all the time. And when I peed, it felt like my bladder wasn't emptying. Um, and then when I got home from work, I had some food and then the pain just got so much I started throwing up. So here in Canada, we have like this telehealth kind of phone number that you can call and you can talk to a nurse and they can guide you through like the next steps, what they recommend. So I got on there at like uh, 10 o'clock and I was put on the waiting list and they finally got back to me at 11 p.m. And through all my symptoms, they're like, yeah, you need to go to the hospital. So I have a godsend in my life. Um, Brennan, or Captain B, as some of you guys know on here, basically drove down from where he lives. He lives like 45 minutes away from where I am. Drove his ass down here, almost at like midnight. Dragged my ass to the hospital. Um, and basically, because of COVID, he wasn't allowed in the hospital with me, so again godsend he stayed outside like basically in the parking lot and by the door where i came out oh went in just hanging out so i have to say for this hospital i was really extremely nervous of like how long i was going to be there the protocols because of covid this hospital was really really quite organized that i went to and the basically the longest time i had to wait for was the doctor like I got in, like I had to go through three check-ins before triage, then they took me to triage, took all my information down, then sent me into, they have five basically districts in the hospital of like what area you can go into. So I was sent into one area that wasn't non-critical, but you know, that they had to look into and stuff. I got blood drawn, I got sent to a like quiet room, got a bed set up basically hung out there for like almost two hours until the doctor came and she was looking through my blood test and all that stuff and basically I have a severe kidney infection because if you guys remember correctly I had a severe chest infection at the beginning of the year and my doctor was kind of like dicking me around a lot when it came to this like and he also fucked up on the test results when I got a chest x-ray the first time he said oh no, there's no fluid in my lungs, but when I called back sick, like still sick, like a week later, he was like, oh yeah, you might have some fluid in the lungs. Like I can see that on the x-ray. I'm so pissed. And like I've been having all these health issues since then, like the ear infection, um, just like skin issues with my hands and stuff that's um, kind of always been there, but it has like really progressed. Um, and apparently this kidney infection stems from all of that. Um, yeah, so my, my my health has been shit. And that's why my reaction to the COVID uh, vaccine was so like bad um, is because my body has been constantly fighting this infection. Plus I had like this shit probed into my body and I didn't know what to do. And also I've been having these really bad, um, basically I went camp uh, camping with Brendan, or Captain B, and he's also given me permission to share his name and shit. Um, I've, I've, for the past, I would say two, three months, I've had these attacks on, um, most so gradually on my right side, um, 
knew my kidneys, but I wasn't quite sure. Like kidney, I should say. <laughs> two, two different sides here. Not all kidneys are on the same side. Like they're not both on the same side, but I mean, there are some weird occasions. But anyways, we're getting off topic. Um, basically, I was having these attacks and this pain and like I would roll out my back and I would throw up. <laughs> And, you know, putting pressure on it actually did feel good. And talking to the doctor, this was the fucking kidney infection that was just spreading throughout my body. It was just targeting areas that, you know, were not necessarily deemed like my weak points. It's just the fluids and all that stuff go through your kidneys, right? So hence the severe kidney infection. And why my hands have also been complete and utter more shit than what they are used to is because um, skin rashes and uh, lesions and stuff do affect, uh, well, are a symptom of a kidney issue. Um, so yeah, that is what I've been dealing with. So I'm on some intense uh, antibiotics, which is great, but my body is going to be fucked up for a little bit. I'm still in pain. Um, but yeah, this is kind of where I've been, guys. I know I've kind of been MIA. Um, this whole year I've been kind of wishy-washy with videos. It's just because my health has been complete shit. And now that I have a better understanding of it, on what's going on with my body, I can, you know, move forward. The downside of this is that I am slightly immune compromised and prone to infections now because this infection has been inside my body for so long. So I just have to be careful and cautious now. So <laughs> that's fucking fantastic. And you know, my hands are always going to be um, fucked up, but I know now if they proceed to a really bad point that I know something's wrong with my body. Um, you know, and I know what a lot of people are going to be like, well, why didn't you go see the doctor? First of all, COVID protocols, can't go see a fucking doctor here. My doctor, I'm very extremely frustrated with because every time I would push and push for like test results or whatever, I would be handed off and being like, oh no, it's nothing, it's fine. Especially when it came to my hands, that like there's nothing that can be done about it. Um... You know, you're just making kind of like a big deal out of it. You're kind of like maybe um, being one of those persons that just cry wolf when it comes to like anything. And honestly, it made me feel fucking crazy. Like I was like, okay, I know something's fucking wrong, but they're telling me that everything is fine. And I guess it got to my po the point where my body's just like, you know what? We need to go to the hospital. Um, and actually the kind of really um interesting i guess part about this is the day i went to the hospital was my aunt's birthday um i guess heavenly birthday now um since she passed away and to top it all off my doctor that i saw in the er had the first name of my aunt now if that doesn't give you goosebumps and like it's just like wow that's a really really fucking coincidence like i didn't even realize this until i was lo looking at my uh, doctor's paperwork and stuff that I got from the hospital and stuff and I was just going through all of it and kind of getting my head wrapped around it yesterday when I was just kind of a little bit more clear-headed and I just realized that I'm like wow like on my aunt's birthday I was kind of I sent myself to the hospital basically and I basically found out what is wrong with me so that's kind of like you know, kind of like my aunt's looking out for me. That's how I kind of look at it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I've been. And again, guys, I apologize for it, the videos being so fucking sporadical these past this past year, basically, because of my health. And it sucks that I am a slight immune compromised now and that I'm prone to infections now. Um, but, you know, it's just... I'm glad that I know that I'm not fucking crazy, that I know that my body has been through the ringer this year, and, you know, it's going to take some time to heal from this infection, 100%, and, you know, pushing myself and working through all of this has been a fucking nightmare on my body, mentally, physically, spiritually, everything. Um, 
I'm very thankful that I've had this week off. Um, I was supposed to work today, but I was like, no, I can't because of this infection. Um, hopefully Saturday I can go into work for a few hours and just kind of take it slow and see, even though my work is high, highly paced and speed and it's just a lot. Um, I'm still in pain from this infection and my energy sucks. I've been sleeping like 12 hours <laughs> straight, um, which is just fucking great, you know, just catching up on that sleep and helping heal my body, which will fucking take time. I am just... I'm just really relieved that I finally have some answers and you know I like you know there has been family members who are like well why didn't you push your doctor you know there's so there's so much pushing you can do over the phone and also when it feels like you're talking to a brick wall and I know that's very harsh to say um, to another human being but it literally felt like I was talking to a brick wall or like made it to be like this was all in my head type of thing and oh I'm getting sick a lot this year like oh like what's your problem type of thing like you're the doctor you're supposed to look into this you're supposed to look for like run tests and not fuck up when there's fluid in somebody's lungs right I get it this year's been fucking crazy with COVID and shit but that doesn't mean you can drop the ball on your patients and just you know suck <laughs> I'm sorry, but like when I see when you spend, you know, 20 to 30 minutes on the phone with, you know, my mom and other family members that go to the same doctor, and then with me when you're barely on the phone for like two minutes, and I mean barely two minutes, I would be lucky enough to get two minutes in. Um, it's just, I don't know, fucking mind blowing. <laughs> you know, it's so fucking frustrating. So now I'm going to be on a hunt for a new fucking doctor because I don't want this to fucking happen again. I can't describe how much my body has been through and how much pain I've been in constantly through this past year. Um, yeah, it's, it's fucking a lot and I know that this is going to take me some time to get over and heal properly and then get on the right track of, you know, I'm taking all the fucking <laughs> um, vitamins in the, this world um, to help build up my immune system. and. I did talk to the ER doctor and she, you know, uh, is going to be monitoring, you know, my blood tests and stuff for the next little bit. Um, just following up with me and, you know, I talked to her about the, the vitamins and stuff and, you know, she properly explained everything and which doses is and doses is, which dose and how long to take them for and blah, 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 all that stuff. So, you know, I'm finally, finally on some good shit. Um, so here's to just updating you guys because I have been MIA for a week and um, yeah so let's let me heal and I shall get back to these videos but I will um, you know when I have a little bit more energy because this this video is fucking tying me out I'm not even gonna bullshit you guys um, but yeah I will come back with some more videos <laughs> um, and I know somebody sent me an email and wanted to know a little bit more about my hands. I can definitely go into that a little bit more um, now that I kind of understand all of the kind of points that is happening with it. But yeah, anyways guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to go fucking lay down because I am <sighs> exhausted. Um, anyways guys, remember, never give up, always keep fighting, you're enough, and you're very much loved. Until the next video guys, stay safe. And remember, if there is you know that something's wrong don't take no for an answer just keep on pushing and listen to your body when you know it's fucked up <laughs> or something's wrong anyways guys